Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day 15 of my 21 day fast. If you've been watching my videos so far, I want to thank you so much for staying with me on this journey. It's been very positive for me overall, uh, much better than I expected. And today I just thought I'd talk a little bit to you about inversion therapy. It's another one of those tools that I add to my toolbox when fasting just to help move everything through my body and uh, give me a little extra boost of benefits along the way. So I've been doing inversion therapy off and on for several years and I have a couple different tools that I use to help me with inversion. Uh, I will show you those later today. And overall, I've made myself a little cheat sheet so that I can talk about them. There's tons of benefits. I'm not going to get them all here, but I will put a link in the description to let you know uh, where you can find a little bit more information about it. So overall, uh, inversion therapy basically just means getting your heart above your head. The yogis have been practicing inversion for years and there are heaps of benefits. So just a really quick overview it improves your posture, it helps it reduce stress, gives you better sleep, gives you stronger ligaments, uh, helps with a faster recovery from your workouts, it increases your flexibility, and helps with lymphatic drainage, which in turn helps your immune system. It also reduces headaches and increases blood circulation and helps reduce symptoms of osteoarthritis, which I am happy to enjoy. Uh, I think it does other things as well, like uh, reducing wrinkles and helping with the reduction of cellulite, which if you are a woman like me, you can use those benefits to your advantage as well. So that's what I'm going to do a bit of today. And I may in fact actually get that pedicure I've been talking about. We'll see how the day takes us. It's a beautiful sunny day today, so I might want to spend more of it outside than inside but we shall see. One more little tip I have for you guys today. I mentioned in my first video that I like to have some pure gum to chew on just to give me a bit of flavor other than the water, etc., that I am drinking. Uh, but also you can chew a bunch of different herbs and spices and I like in particular ginger root. It's a fresh ginger that I can chew on just to give me extra boost of flavor in my mouth. And ginger has a whole bunch of healing properties. It's antifungal, antiviral, antiparasitic, antibacterial. It helps with inflammation. The list goes on. So all these, a lot of these natural spices and herbs are just super beneficial for you. So I just had a little nibble throughout the day. Can we have a good chew? I love that powerful taste. I don't swallow it though. It's lovely. So now it is time for day 15 official weight check-in. So the first inversion apparatus that I have is this little yoga chair. I got it on Amazon. You can find it there or wherever. And I like to go into this and just do a few little leg variations and move around. I can get into some deeper stretches. I use angle waves just to help me with my, uh, with my range of motion and flexibility with it. So I shall proceed now. time getting out of inversion because if you get up too quickly you can have a little bit of dizziness and lightheadedness from all that beautiful fresh blood that's just entering your brain. So that is apparatus number one. Now I'll show you apparatus number two.
And when I'm feeling extremely lazy and I don't want to put very much effort in at all, this bad boy is the one I use. It's an inversion table. And all I do is I hop on and I put my feet in there like this. Tighten the clamps so that I don't fall out when I go upside down. And that's what I'm going to do now. Whee! You can see the holes in my ceiling from this exact process. And now I'm just gonna hang out upside down on my table. Oh yeah, I can feel my spine lengthening. Inversion therapy is just like anything else. It's something that you need to build up to to have any um, endurance with it. You can start off with even just putting your legs against the wall, putting your legs up and your bum against the wall. That's a good start. Um, and you can just build your way up to all these different things. When you, I usually do about five to seven minutes on the inversion chair that I just showed you. And with the table, depends how I'm feeling, but I could hang out here and like sleep all day. I wouldn't do it that long. Um, but probably a good five to 10 minutes is appropriate for me. But again, do your own research, listen to your own body. And guys, inversion therapy is not suited to everyone. People who have disc problems, people with blood pressure problems, um, should probably not engage in inversion therapy without consulting their doctor first. I'm finally doing it. So I will just sit back in my massage chair and enjoy the trip. Thank you.